Nodes are confusing. One of the things which trips beginners up the most is just understanding the general node workflow. What goes where and how things affect other things. So I've come up with a concept Hello. to try and explain that workflow. Now you're not going to learn how to do one particular thing in this video, but hopefully you'll go away with a better understanding of that node workflow so you can jump into Fusion for yourself and start having a play. Now before we do get into it, please allow me just 20 seconds of your time to thank this video sponsor, Motion VFX. Motion VFX creates some of the best in-class DaVinci Resolve plugins. They're quick, easy, and they look great, which is why I use them in loads of my videos. So click the link down in the description below to head over to Motion VFX website and check out their range of DaVinci Resolve plugins. Cool, thanks ever so much. Right, let's open Fusion, get five minutes on the clock, and take a look. So here we are within Fusion, and this is my analogy. Over on this left viewer here, we have a train as it leaves its original station. And over on the right, we have a train as it reaches its final destination. Now that's represented in our nodes down here. The left, we have our original station. We have a train track as it goes across, and then it reaches its final destination. If we need to make any changes to the train, we simply intercept it along its train track here. And we do so, using nodes. Using our little favorites bar in the middle here, we're gonna grab this one. This is a transform tool. We simply click, drag, and we pop it onto our train track like so. So halfway along its journey, it gets transformed before it reaches its final destination. With the transform highlighted within our nodes, open the inspector. You've got the same transform tools you're used to from the edit page, and we can just change the size or the angle and do whatever we want. So this is the train as it left its original station. It gets transformed along the way, so when it reaches its final destination, it looks something like this. As silly as it sounds, that is the concept of fusion in a nutshell. So let's just move this transform out the way. We'll come back to that in a moment. Now the numptis at the original station forgot to put the sticker on the side of the train, telling everyone what train and what number it is. So we need to add that. Now the transform tool, this directly affects the train. Whereas what we want to do with the sticker is combine, we want to merge a text node with our train. So we use what's called a merge node. So down here, we've got this one. This is our merge node, and we're gonna pop this on our train track after our transform. Now, if I hit F2 with it selected, I can change its name. I'm gonna call this engineering. This is our engineering train station. We need to grab text, which is this one over here. Again, this is a text plus. It's exactly the same to what you, you probably used to on the edit page. We're gonna drop it underneath engineering. In the inspector, let's just call this train 77. Now at the moment, as you can see, nothing is being applied and that's because our text isn't yet connected to our engineering. So all we do, we click on the end, we drag up to engineering and release, and there we go. So now when our train reaches its destination, it's got its sticker applied. Again, with text selected in the inspector, we can use all of our standard controls just to change this around and get it looking exactly as we want it. So I'm gonna go with something like that. Now, an important thing to note with these merge nodes, you have two inputs. So we've got the yellow one, which is our background, and the green one, which is our foreground. Now, in our instance, we want our sticker to be on the outside of our train. So we want the text to be the foreground. If we wanted to swap them around, we simply right-click on Merge on Engineering, and we can swap the inputs or we can use the keyboard shortcut of Control and T. So now the train is on top of our text. Let me just move the train out of the way. You can see the text is underneath. We don't want that, so I'm gonna swap that back around. Now let's grab another transform node and we're gonna put this after engineering. So now we've got two transforms. If we go back to the original one here, this will transform the train before it's had its sticker applied because it hasn't yet gone through engineering. So if we give it a click, we change the angle. We change the angle of the train itself but the sticker, as you can see, isn't moving because we're changing the train before it's had its sticker applied. If we go to this second transform and do the same thing, we're gonna change the angle of the train with the sticker. So the sticker has already been applied because we've already been through engineering at this point. Now, currently, nobody's on this train, so we're gonna add another station so someone can get on. Now, you don't actually need to add the merge node manually every single time because Fusion is pretty smart. So I'm gonna open up my media pool I'm gonna grab my dude called Clive and I'm gonna pop him on our train track after our transform. Again, let's just rename these. This is gonna be called Clive and then this station is Birmingham Station. So Clive walks down the road, that's represented by this line here, and then he hops on the train at Birmingham. Now Clive, clearly too big for the train. So we need to make Clive a little bit smaller. So we're gonna grab our transform node once again and we're gonna put it on the journey. So as Clive is walking to Birmingham Station, we're gonna put a transform node there so we can make him a little bit smaller. 
We're going to resize Clive and we're going to put him on the train like so. So let's grab one more transform node and we're going to put this after Birmingham before we reach our final destination. So let's make our way through this again. Transform one on the left. This is just the train as it left the station. So if we change the angle, we're only changing the angle of the train itself. That's not affecting the sticker or Clive because those things haven't happened yet. If we go to transform two, this is after engineering, but before Birmingham station. So Clive's not yet on the train. We change the angle of the train with its sticker, but not Clive. If we go to this last transform, this is after engineering and after Birmingham station. If we change the angle, we change the angle of the train with the sticker and Clive already on board. You build things up in the correct order and then you can make changes to either all of them or the individual things. We could animate the train now with the sticker and with Clive already on board. Or we could animate Clive getting on the train and then the train and everything driving away. And that's it. That's Fusion. If that made sense, make sure to give this video a like and let me know any thoughts or comments down in the comment section below. If you're enjoying 5 Minute Friday, make sure to subscribe because there are, of course, a video like this every single week. And if you want to support Mr. Alex Tech, my memberships are now open. That are links down in the description below as well. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.